Hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we will be unboxing the Shangshao Gigaminx. It's been quite a while since I solved the Master Kilaminx. That one took a while, this one will take even longer. Let's get the box open. Oh, you guys ready for a mess of lubrication? So, we've got this cube. Plastic. Oh, yeah, that's not that bad so far. Yeah, I'll give it a wipe down, but honestly, it's not as much lube as I was expecting. Cool. So let's give it my first Mega Minx size comparison. It's about twice as big. Or squared as big? I don't really know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's not that big. I was expecting it to be a bit bigger, actually. But let's go ahead and do first turns. Yeah, it works. I'm glad that you can just do it with your one finger without hurting yourself. Oh, you can do the second layer with your one finger, too, without hurting yourself. Um, I'm guessing that the cutting won't be that great, of course. Okay, it seems that they lubricated it, but didn't break it in too much. So the outer layer is a bit looser than the inner layer. It's a bit easier to turn the outer one than the inner one. But honestly, like, it's not that big of a difference. I love the tip of these triangles, they're kind of sharp. Okay, so let's go ahead and look over here at the corner cutter. None, okay. Yeah, no, not much corner cutting. Second layer. A little better, maybe. Interesting. So the second layer seems to be better than the first layer in corner cutting. Can we do two on two? I don't... Oh, wow, we could. Okay, so that's nice. You have to use quite a lot of force, though. Let's see if we can get these caps off. Okay, so the caps do come off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take off all of the caps, one by one, and give each one about five turns of looseness. Not too much better, but just a little bit. But you know, a little bit goes a long way when you're solving it for two hours. About. Oh, okay. So should I leave it like this and just have like a void gigamix? That would be unfortunate. Let's go ahead and put these back on. Interesting. So these colors are kind of close together. But besides that, the shades are pretty good. And they usually have this this kind of pale yellow in all their cubes. I just feel like this is a little deeper than normal. Time for the part that I'm dreading, which is mixing it up. So I've realized that a good way to mix these up is to make sure that some pieces that you're moving get all the way to the other side of the cube. I also have no idea if I know how to solve this. I should be able to do it, actually, because you never need... Like, so I have a shortcut algorithm for, like, the square cubes to switch two edges, but you never need that algorithm. You just need to be able to do... Like, when I was solving the 4x4 kilowinks, I never used it, even though I got parity. I also don't know any parity algorithms, so the edge swapping algorithm is how I usually fix parity. You can basically build up inefficient solutions to problems using things you already know. And sure, they're inefficient, but you know, it gets the job done. And you use a smaller basis of knowledge, which is always good when you're like me and you just want to solve a lot of puzzles. You want to see what 
each puzzle brings is a challenge compared to another one. You don't want to learn lots of new things, just memorize lots of things. To solve your cubes, you want to have a small subset of things that you've memorized. And then for each kind of cube that has its own challenges, you kind of learn a new variation of what you've memorized. Yeah, so now the cube's looking pretty mixed up. So at this point, I guess that we can start solving it. So since it's gonna take so long to solve, I'm actually not gonna sit at this desk and solve it. I'm gonna to go to a coffee shop and solve it there. So the footage will probably be taken on my laptop, so it's gonna be lower quality. But you know, when you're watching someone solve a Gigaminx, you don't really care about the quality of the video because it's such a long video that you kind of just are like, get tired of watching it after like five minutes. But I'm gonna put it up there for anyone who wants to watch me suffer for that long, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit.
I didn't have any complaints at all. I think it's a very good puzzle. Have a good week.